Welcome to St. Mary's Parish. Good morning, everyone. Please stand. Jesus, let your kingdom come here. Let you will be. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we're celebrating the feast of St. Kateri Takakwitha. Let's open our hearts to the Lord who loves us so much. Let's acknowledge our sins and receive his wonderful mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to wash us clean and make us new through your most precious blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with finest wheat through the Holy Eucharist. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you breathe your divine life into us through the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who called Blessed Kateri Takakwitha to live as a consecrated virgin, virgin among her people, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that the peoples of every tribe, language, and nation gathered into your church may together praise your name through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day that Stephen was killed, a severe persecution began against the church in Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria. Devout men buried Stephen and made loud lamentation over him. But Saul, was ravaging the church by entering house after house, dragging off both men and women, he committed them to prison. Now those who were scattered went from place to place, proclaiming the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Messiah to them. The crowds with one accord listened eagerly to what was said by Philip, hearing and seeing the signs that he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud shrieks, came out of many who were possessed. And many others who were paralyzed or lame were cured. So there was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
make a joyful noise to God. All the earth sing the glory of His name. Give to Him glorious praise. Say to God, Oh. Worship you. They sing and praise us to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds among the mortals. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through rivers on foot. Day says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had fed the crowd with the five loaves, he said to the people, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This indeed is the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. 
and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Now, I had a conversion as a teenager, and at one point in, in this kind of process of conversion, uh, I went to confession. And I made was kind of somewhat of a general confession. And after that point, when I would go to Mass, I would go to Mass with, with a loving faith. Before then, I was, going, I was going to Mass every Sunday, but I was going kind of simply dutifully, and you could say kind of with an empty dutifulness. I had a bit of a vague understanding of the Holy Eucharist, but I really didn't believe and love our Lord Jesus, truly present body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Holy Eucharist. But after this, this confession and, and this process of, of conversion, going to Mass, it, 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 it changed everything. And I would say during this time in my life, and in particular this, this confession and, and going to Mass with loving faith, it was like a watershed in my life. Before then, if I w w was honest with myself, there was an emptiness. I might have not been aware of it most of the time while I was distracting myself, but oh, alone at, in bed at night when I'm having trouble sleeping, you know, there was this awareness that I'm not happy. I'm not fulfilled. There's an emptiness, an ache. And I'll tell you something. After this kind of encounter with the Lord as a teenager, I'd go to bed at night and there was joy. There was. I've, I've told that story before. Um, and so, again, this promise of our Lord, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. The Lord, he does indeed in a very real way fill us. He fills us when we come to him and believe and receive his love and receive him truly present in the Holy Eucharist. Now this, this doesn't mean that, you know, after a long day's work, when it's dinner time, you're not, it doesn't mean you're not going to be hungry, you know, or it doesn't mean after a long walk you're not going to experience some thirst. Our Lord Jesus, of course, is speaking figuratively. And it also doesn't mean that in our lives we're not going to have trials. You know, the Lord Jesus says, or the, the apostle in the uh, it says you must, we must pass through many trials to enter the kingdom of God. And it also doesn't mean that our life isn't going to be an ordeal, because Scripture says, my child, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for an ordeal. So again, we're not suggesting that when a person finally does surrender his life to the Lord and, 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 and believes, and in particular begins to, to, to feast at the banquet of the Holy Eucharist, that they're not going to have the trials and the ordeals of life, but we do proclaim that when a person accepts, believes, embraces her faith with love. There's a categorical difference. That emptiness that is so common is gone, and now it's replaced with, with just a sense that I'm not alone. I'm loved. There's a God that cares for me. And one, one example you could give is, um, you know, remember when we were children, and you'd be playing outside with your friends, having a good time, and your, your mom would call, you know, it's time to come in. It's, it's dinner time. What was the common response? I'm not hungry. <laughs> you know, when you're having fun, when things are going well, when, 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 you know, you're, when you're experiencing some kind of fulfillment, it's, you know, it's common to say, hey, like, I'm not hungry. <laughs> and I remember I, I have an uncle. He's a, he's a real um, uh, handyman, and he loves tools and projects and fixing things. And I remember my brother and I were visiting him once, and he's showing us, and we, we like tools too, so he's showing us his tools and stuff, and he takes a whole bunch of tools and puts them on a dinner table. And it was just about time for dinner. And he's showing us. He's all excited. And then his wife comes, her aunt, and she says, hey, it's dinner time. Stress bringing food. He says, no, I'm not hungry. And he points to his tools. He says, this is my food. <laughs> you know, he was joking, of course, you know. But the point is, is, again, there is a fundamental sense of being filled and satisfied when we are walking with the Lord, when we're filled with the Holy Spirit, there's, there, there isn't that emptiness. Because again, we're children of God. We're meant to be filled with the presence of God. One last story. 
I remember once a gentleman asked to meet with me, and he explained to me that, you know, he wasn't, you know, too active in his faith. He'd kind of, you know, fallen away a bit, but he just wanted to share with me. He was going through just an awful kind of trials or difficulties in his life, and this had been going on for quite some time. And he's just describing to me all his miseries, and I was just shocked at how miserable his life was in almost every way possible. You know, I was feeling sorry for him, and I, you know, like, I'm not a counselor. I didn't know what to do or say, but but at one point, I just asked him, I said, well, listen, when did you notice or when did your life start to become so, so awful and miserable? And he kind of thinks, he says, it was about at the time I stopped going to Mass. And you could tell when he said this, he paused. You know when someone has a light bulb moment? He had a light bulb moment right in front of me. Like, he never made the connection. He stopped going to Mass. And then his life became miserable. And I remember just, just kind of, I could see he had a light bulb moment. And again, I'm not a counselor. I didn't know what to do. So I did the classic. Remember when you could go see a doctor here in Ontario and you see the doctor and the doctor say, well, take these pills and come and see me in a week. Well, I just told the guy, I said, well, maybe start going to mass again and come and see me in a month or something. You know, like I think that's your problem. You've rejected Jesus. That's what you've done. The Lord commands us to, to worship him, to, to receive him in the Holy Eucharist, to live a life in a, in a state of grace. You've, you've rejected him. Maybe go back to Jesus and see if that helps. So my message for us today is never stop going to Mass. Confident in the generosity of God the Father who gave us his Son in the Eucharist as food for our souls, we bring before him our needs. That the church leaders may witness to Jesus, who is the bread of life in a world which is hungry for meaning, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may be actively involved in finding solutions to the needs and concerns of our poor brothers and sisters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who see little need for God in their lives may be drawn back to the nourishment of the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience the loving presence of Christ through the reception of the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed who ate the bread of life may live forever, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intention of today's Mass, in thanksgiving for the life of Father Francis Frankovich, offered by Jeremy and Monique Rivet Karnak, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, make us truly grateful for the gift of the Eucharist, which gives us hope and meaning to our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. It 
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant we pray O Lord that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Marcel, our Bishop, Yvonne, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord our God, through our communion in the body and blood of your Son, the grace of detachment from all things that pass, that like blessed Kateri, we may live on earth with a sincere love for you and in heaven with the joy of beholding your face through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Abba, Father, bless your sons and daughters. Father, enkindle in the hearts of your children the fire of your love. Father, fill your children with your divine peace. Give your children joy and the knowledge of their identity as children of God. Father, through this blessing, heal the sick and set the captives free. Father, bathe your children now in the most precious blood of your Son, Jesus. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. 
Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The splendor of the King Rejoice, all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice, and trembles at his voice. Our great is our God. Sing with me, our great is our God.